Tunip, how are things on the Octopod? Bubble. Anything to report? Thank you, Tunip. Get to work. Look, some seals are trapped. Oh, thank you. Need a little help with that pile of trees? Thank you, Dashi. Exhausted. Aye, that's a goby. But they live in freshwater rivers. The storm must have washed him out to sea into the salt water. Better get him into some fresh water before he gets sick. Fresh water. Oh, that's better. Thanks. Good. He should be safe for now. And as soon as we've finished cleaning up and rescuing these seals and tree frogs, we can help get your little goby home. Barnacle's out. Clem! Clem! Where are you? Over here! I found the algae! Oh, it's stuck. I can't budge it. Don't worry. I have some rope. If we tie it around the rock with the algae, we can pull it free. That's brilliant. Just have to make a knot. Well, hurry it up, partner. It's real cold down here. Ooh. OK. I've finished tying the knot and... There. Oh. Oh. I never was too good at tying knots. Me neither. But I know someone who is. Periwinkle! Hi, Mum. Why are you in the dark? Oh, you know, just doing some deep diving with your Uncle Shellington. And Clem. Cool. Pettywinkle, could you show us how to make that knot you learned to tie? The bowline knot. That's the one. Sure. I've been practicing. You make a loop here, then you put the end through and wrap it around like this. Look, Mum, it worked. Oh, Periwinkle. I'm so proud of you. Now try yours. All right. Uh, through the loop and around. Uh, oh, Perry, it worked. Oh, thanks. No problem. Bye-bye, Mum. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> we did it. Oh. Now, let's get this back to the others. Good idea, but which way do we go? Uh, I think I came out from there. Hmm. Wrong way, dead end. I'm not sure how much longer Clem can last down here. It's too cold. To tell the truth, I'm so cold I can't even f f feel my fins. 
Captain, are you all right? Did you find Pearl and Clem? I found them and the algae, but no, we can't find our way out. It's like a maze down here. Uh -huh. Maybe I can show you the way. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. Wait, I can see that. Whatever incarnation that is. Dash is camera light and the octo lift. <laughs> Just in time. Put the algae rock in and follow the light back up. Thanks, Dashy. looking for answers, but all we found was trouble. It seemed nobody had seen the baby eels, or so they claimed. They were scared of something. Maybe it was the orcas. Everyone scattered at the sound of their high-pitched calls. We had to go deeper, way deeper. But the more questions we asked, the murkier it got. <sighs> Still no leads. Maybe we need to look at it from a different angle. What we need is a bird's eye view. Excuse me, could we ask you some questions? Questions? I ain't no stool pigeon. No, you're an albatross. Yes, yeah, so? I still ain't talking. We'll make it worth your while. How about these fish biscuits in exchange for some information? Fish biscuits, huh? Well, why didn't you say so? Ask me anything. We're looking for some baby eels. Have you seen them? Baby eels, huh? They sound tasty. But nah, I ain't seen them. You might want to talk to Bridget, the rainbow blanket octopus. She's got her tentacles into just about everything around here. Oh, where can we find her? She keeps a low profile, but uh, if you follow the current, you might get lucky. Now, about those fish biscuits. A deal's a deal. Thanks. <laughs> This time, luck was on our side, and we found the octopus. She was beautiful, with tentacles that seemed to go on forever. I could tell she was trouble, but Shellington's curiosity got the better of it. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Eddie the Albatross said you might have some information about some baby eels. Baby eels? No, I'm afraid not. But they sound awfully tasty. <laughs> That's what Eddie the Albatross said. If Eddie hasn't seen him, maybe you should ask Randy. Uh, Randy? He's a grey reef shark who hangs out in the coral reef. He has a nose for finding tasty morsels. Uh, oh. But all this talk of food has made me hungry. Let's grab a bite, shall we? <laughs> Some other time, <laughs> we're on a case. You brought back up. I'm out of here. <laughs> She's gone, but she left this behind. A clue, maybe? A clue, no. Fascinating, yes. Rainbow blanket octopuses shed their blanket when making a quick escape. Uh, uh, Tweak, I need a little more engine power. You got it, Kip. Thanks. Hold tight, everyone. Whoa! <laughs> tossed them out like a ball of yarn in a sea of cats. Ow! Phew. Dashy, can you check the storm tracker? Does it look like this storm will be over soon? I'm afraid not, Captain. Now there's a humongous wave headed straight for us. Uh-oh. Octonauts, race for impact.
Octonaut, is everyone all right? Report, please. That was a wild ride, Captain. No one hurt in HQ. Kip, come quick. Our drinking water is leaking. Hmm. Octonauts, grab a bucket. Or a boot. Yeah. Grab what you can and let's save our drinking water. in the ocean, and we can't drink it. Ocean water is too salty to drink. It would make us sick. And there's a desert on the other side of us, so every drop of drinking water is precious. Water. Helicopter. Things are definitely looking up. We're not the first to be shipwrecked here on the dreaded Skeleton Coast, matey. The Skeleton Coast? Is it really called that? Actually, Paz is right. It is called the Skeleton Coast because of all the ships that get stuck here after a storm. Oh no, I hope we're not stuck. Don't worry, we'll get the octopod back in the water. To the octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond.